Hey, what's up, metal and heavy music fans? It's Flight of Icarus again with MetalTrenches.com, and it's that time again for me to check out your latest metal requests and recommendations on Bandcamp. And hey, if you like to be kept up to date with the best and brightest metal bands and albums from the underground and above, then stick with me by hitting that subscribe button down below. All right, y'all, plenty of recommendations to get through today, and we're going to start with World of Pleasure with World of Pleasure. I got to listen to a little bit of this friend recommended this to me it's like knocked loose vibes the vocals man heck yeah <laughs> intense metallic hardcore seriously these vocals like i am just in love with them so good like this has been such a great year for amazing female fronted hardcore in particular hardcore and metalcore but just metal in general, just coming out of the woodwork and love it to death. Just a little three song EP, five bucks Canadian, so 378. Little, little, little bit high for three songs, let's say. You know, when you're going more than a dollar a song, you're kind of pushing it, but the quality is there and I cannot wait to hear more. I suppose it's appropriate that I'm I'm in Portland, I'm wearing my flannel, and I'm representing some vegan straight edge, as it says in the description here. So all just all just coming together here. You gotta check out this EP. All three songs, just hard-hitting, abrasive, ridiculous hardcore, and I love every freaking second of it. So yeah, check out World of Pleasure. You will not be disappointed. All right, next up, we've got something completely different <laughs> with Shadow Warrior and Cyberblade. It's a Polish group. So I Am Thunder, we get a nice little thunder crack there. Just classic heavy metal, as I recall. I don't listen to a lot of classic heavy metal, so it's kind of nice when I get to share it on here. Not usually my thing overall, but I know there are, there's a fan base out there for it. So again, like I like to use this particular series to really showcase stuff that, uh, you know, you might otherwise miss because my <laughs> dumb face just isn't that into that particular subgenre. Love that album cover, though. Lots of great riffs. If you're into things like Judas Priest and Iron Maiden, you get plenty of those vibes. Pretty solid vocals too, like I get a lot of stuff in this vein that kind of sounds kind of crummy to be honest, but that's pretty catchy, <laughs> catchy stuff. And again, just riffs upon riffs. Like that little, is that a cowbell? <laughs> or is that just like a hammer striking? Obviously made to sound like a guy on a forge hitting a, hitting a sword, forging a demon sword. Ooh, listen to that. That was a nice high there. Yeah, good stuff. Again, not really my speed, but I know there are some heavy metal fans on my channel that will definitely appreciate this. So if you're one of them, please uh, share around Shadow Warrior. All right, then we've got Falling Giants and Grodek with Highwaymen at the Vesper. Falling Giants is an Italian project. Nice little split here. Got like doom and sludge, a little bit of that blackened vibe to it too. We got some classic vocals too. I've, I've mentioned this on the channel before. I am I am down when the doom bands. I'm down when the doom bands kind of mix the extreme flavor vocals with the like classic doom vocals. Not a big fan of like classic doom vocals the whole way through. Except for, you know, the classic. Of course I listen to that stuff. And I think what we're looking at here is just the Falling Giants side of this EP. So you can check out the Grodek side too. So it's just very dark, atmospheric. I do like how these riffs kind of fit this like fiery sky. I hear like kind of this burning sound. Oh yeah, those big, big chords. <laughs> Those big classic Doom chords. Yeah, good stuff. 
Again, not necessarily my speed, but something that I think the Doom fans out there, which I just don't cover enough of, are going to appreciate. So again, that's Falling Giants, Highwaymen at the Vesper, and they're split with Grodic. Alright, then we've got Rigor Samsa with Cataract, another Polish band here. I have a feeling this will not be a heavy metal band, though. <laughs> this is Alternative... Prog, progressive metal. Like those little soft vocals, kind of Maynardy tool sounding vocals. Yeah, some tool vibes here. Actually, not what I expected. I, I saw this cover and I guessed black metal. I could not be more wrong. Here we go. Here's where it picks up. Yeah, kind of like early tool. Like undertow, kind of with the raw production, and still some more kind of rock-oriented sound to it. But yeah, dun, 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 the very yeah Tool guitars here. This is clearly a Tool-influenced band. No complaints here. I love Tool. Yeah, listen to those guitars. Those are <laughs> straight-up Tool guitars with the little grooves and everything. But I like that they're 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 going after kind of the early style tool, as opposed to going straight for kind of the the more modern polished sound. And that might be out of necessity or it might be on purpose. I don't know. But either way, I say go with it. Um, and there's not many bands that honestly sound like that. As big as Tool are, you'd expect there to be like a million imitators. But there's there's not really like. I'm down with it. And and how often do we get a Tool album? <laughs> we all know the memes around that, so... I'm down. I, I like this. I think this is really cool. Good stuff. Always happy to share some just straight-up progressive metal on here, and being a big fan of Maynard and Tool, uh, I'm interested to dig more deeply into this. So this is, again, Rigor Samsa with Cataract. All right, then we've got Nakra with Korn. Not that corn. <laughs> Atmospheric black metal from NGC Productions. Nice classic kind of early era black metal looking cover there too. Nice. Like those tremolo melodies. A little bit like toke. A little bit of that like danceable, folky kind of toke sound in there. I love that. If you haven't checked out my Toke tier list too, by the way, you should definitely check that out. Ooh, a little piano here. Okay, okay. Like that. What else we got here? A little fuller, chuggy riff here. Getting a little variety. Dig that. You know, even though they're calling themselves atmospheric black metal, and there's definitely atmosphere here, there's also kind of more just straightforward, aggressive black metal going on as well. And I dig both, so good times. Yeah, really earworm, catchy tremolos, which is so important when you're putting out this style of black metal. If you want it to really stick. Walking that perfect tightrope between catchy and dark. Grim, that, that ravishing grimness as Dark Throne puts it. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. That's like a Gorgoroth. Gorgoroth riff right there. I like that. Check out my Gorgoroth tier list, too. I'm just going to shill everything. <laughs> Those all should be out by the time this episode drops, I think. But, anyways, yeah, that is Knockroll with Corn, Atmospheric, Black Metal. Check them out. All right, then we got Goat Fetus with the God is Dead and Phantasm EP. This is another just straightforward black metal project. Just early era, second wave sounding stuff. It's out of Regina, Saskatchewan. Interesting. More nice atmosphere here. Kind of like going back to sort of Emperor a little bit. A little bit of that... Uh, symphonic flair with the piano and kind of the corals. Nice blast beats. Ooh, nice little chuggy part there. I like that. 
You know, they're carrying this all just like straight up instrumental on, on this one too. Which you wouldn't think would work, but it's, it's actually pretty solid. Like here's Phantasm. Different kind of production on here. I can tell we're still kind of like in demo mode trying things out, but like those guitar harmonies, like almost like heavy metal guitar harmonies there. I think they're onto something. I like that snare sound too. <laughs> then we got a really cardboard sounding bass drum, which brings me back to Gorgoroth again. <laughs> a little bass in there too. Good stuff. Let's check out just a little bit more here. They also have the Death Angel and Satan Speaks. Yeah, this one, this one has much fuller production. These guys are kind of all over the place. Yeah, I'll be interested to see what comes of this project moving forward and if they're going to add vocals, kind of what direction it's going to go. But again, that is Goat Fetus. And you can check out a whole bunch of stuff on their band camp. All right, then we've got Graveheart with Mostly Dead out of Massachusetts. Nice, nice way to no bullshit intro. <laughs> Man, just screaming, wailing, thrashy guitars. I like this cartoony cover. That's really kind of unique art style. I like that. Kind of like groove metal, looks like we're going here. Like death metal, thrashy death metal. Nice full vocals. Really aggressive sounding. Like, you know, like a little bit of Lamb of God in there, a little Devil Driver. Ooh, nice little break there. Drums sound great too. I love these little fills and rolling toms. This double bass here. And really solid riffs. This is great. The chuggy part. Little triplets there. Ooh, nice little <laughs> deep, deep death vocals there. This is great. This is really great. Yeah. Defying my expectations here. I wasn't sure exactly, honestly, what to expect. Yeah, just check out a couple tracks here. Yeah, it's ripping guitar, too. Listen to that. Little, like, mini solos everywhere. This guy just shreds. Ooh, I love that. That little, that little riff back there. Love it. I love it when you mix the death metal and the thrash metal together. This makes for an absolutely thrilling combination. This is excellent. 10 bucks digital for 13 tracks. Not bad. I will say though, if you're a starting band, I think the five to seven dollar range is, is honestly the smarter way to go. If you're not gonna go name your own price to you know, invite more listeners, don't scare people away. But again, that's Graveheart, mostly dead. I'm interested in checking this out some more for sure. All right, Bestialis with Rittus of Berlin, Germany. Another four song EP here. I guess this is just a prelude, so we got a nice little acoustic intro, but I want to get into it. More black metal, black metal heavy episode today. No complaints, love black metal. Got some like kind of epic vocals on there too. This is off of Vendetta Records. That's nice. I like those raspy, kind of croaky vocals there. Reminds me a little bit of Inquisition. Not as <laughs> not as croaky as Inquisition, but ooh, nice guitars there. Another very kind of toke sounding riff. It's more kind of rock oriented. Ooh, -na 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 -na. those little descending riffs there are nice. It's very evil, dark sounding music again, as it should be. I mean, black metal isn't made of, you know, puppy dogs and kittens. <laughs> it's made of cults, y'all. Ooh, nice little bass part there. Ooh, and the acoustic coming back. Heck yeah, nice. Got some dynamics going on here. Oh yeah, get a little ugh. That was very Toke-esque, too. Nice guitar riffs all around, all around impressive. It's a good, uh, good roundup, guys. These are recommendations from fans, the bands themselves, and some labels too. And it's a, it's a good group. Heck yeah.
But again, this is Bestialis with Ritus or Ritus. Check them out via Vendetta Records. All right, Blighted Eye from our neighbors in Seattle, Washington. Cool cover there. So guitar intro here, respite. Ooh, more like very riff driven death metal it sounds like. These guitars sound great. And I like those deeper death vocals. Yeah, more just wailing, ripping guitars in the background there too. They've got a progressive metal tag as well. Yeah, excellent. A little bit more of like a blackened edge to this one in a way. Just with the atmosphere. Excellent. More nice blast beats there. I like this riff too. Catchy, but still extreme. <laughs> Ooh, nice. <laughs> More of that. Awesome. Ooh, a little solo here. Kind of an Opeth-y sounding solo there. In fact, I'll, I, now that I'm thinking about it, a lot of these riffs have like a little bit of a Opeth flair to them. Excellent. Lots of EPs today, too. See, here, here's a wiser decision, I think, with the $4. Some nice dynamics going on here. Yeah, longer, more progressive track on this one. Yeah, I definitely, more and more as I'm listening to this, my Opeth fans out there definitely sound off on this one because this sounds pretty rad. I'm almost surprised not to see an Opeth tag down there. But yeah, that is Blighted Eye with Wretched. Check them out. All right, and last but not least, covering the latest album from Pig Skinner, which is a band that I've covered a few times before and way back in the day. They've got a special place in my heart. I'm pretty sure I covered them like the first year of the site back in like 2014, 2015. If they've got a release from back then, yeah, we've got some older stuff. But yeah, just really raw grindcore. This is, I, I'm feeling like this is a little bit more, like, has more of an atmosphere to it than some of the older stuff. But they're keeping that production raw. Just like straight up ugly, gross music from Greece. Gotta love that. <laughs> we all need a little bit of that in our lives. Just grimy. I always love this image too. Just raw, no BS. Those guttural vocals, too. <laughs> I can't even do it. Can't even come close. These guys make Pig Destroyer look like Beyonce or something. <laughs> yeah, just intense, ugly, extreme, lots of grim, gross, gory imagery. Good stuff. If you haven't checked out Pig Skinner, give him a listen. All right, y'all, I think that's plenty for this week. Ten more albums that you can go out and check out this weekend. And as always, let me know down in the comments which one was your favorite. Did you end up picking up any of them? Did you buy them? Really love hearing about that. Love knowing that somebody came to my video and, as a result, gave these musicians your hard-earned money as a result because they absolutely deserve it and they don't get enough recognition. But, hey, stick around, too. In general, i got plenty more videos coming right after this one. As always, I will link the playlist for this particular series in the comments. But... I also do full album reviews, tier lists, interviews with bands on the podcast. You name it, we got it. So plenty of reasons to subscribe if you've not already. In the description, you can find links to our social media where you can follow us. The email newsletter I send out personally every Friday, metaltrenches.com, for even more reviews and content and our Patreon and subscribe star. If you want to take that extra jump to becoming a full-on supporter, just a dollar a month gets you early access to content and helps me keep this train rolling. But that'll do it for now. Flight of Icarus signing off. I will see you in the trenches.